So this uh, week, more than 35,000 people came to tune in to watch my videos, which is more than I've ever experienced in my entire history as a YouTuber. Now, I must say, uh, some of you might think that, wow, that must be so exciting and you must be so happy, Eric. And, you know, of course I am, but most of all, <laughs> just really anxious about it honestly uh, you know uh, how I respond to these things is probably not how normal people respond to these things but I just get really anxious and really nervous and overwhelmed and uh, for me it's uh, always been a very scary experience to make YouTube videos but now it's since my video grew it became double the size it used to be <laughs> this week and uh, that just made it twice as uh, nerve-wracking uh, luckily, um, I find nerves fun, and um, most of the time I just enjoy it. You know, I enjoy roller coasters and I enjoy rides. So, <laughs> what happened uh, was like I spent the past months just obsessively going over every single YouTuber and all of their content and just looking at everything they do, their thumbnails, their titles, their approach to videos and everything about it. And of course, you know, even now, like five years into it, I don't have that, you know, I don't have that ability to be funny or entertaining or engaging like uh, some of the top YouTubers do. I just have that passion for personality psychology and I just have that passion for like helping people feel less alone and making people feel more understood you know I got a call from a friend uh, last night like around 10 o'clock and I was like why why is he calling so late you know and then I just took it on and I was like uh, hello and he was just talking about how you know nobody wants to talk to him and how difficult it is for him to you know connect with people and uh, for me, you know, like that was just so sad to hear because, you know, that was a fascinating person, you know, a person with such like intelligence and such unique ways of seeing things. And I just felt so bad that he felt that way about himself and that he was finding it so difficult. And I just thought immediately, you know, how can I make a video to help people like him? You know, what can I say to make people uh, feel more connected and to make people's lives a little bit easier. What can I do to spread the idea of flow and happiness to people across the globe? So I came up with INFJ week last week and I thought I'd take that further this week. So I made um, seven videos on ENFP personality type. Now <laughs> before you ENFPs get excited, um, I actually ran a poll and I asked you guys, okay, so what um, videos, what series would you like next? And honestly, INFP won by a landslide. And uh, while I could go full on dictator and just say, hey, here you go, <laughs> here's the ENFP series that I made. Actually, I think it's just about right that I um, dedicate my next series to the INFP personality type. You are probably my biggest viewership over the years consistently. INFPs are one of the personnel types that are the closest to my heart. Uh, and uh, of course I want to give that to you just as I gave that to INFJs this week. I want to give you something special as well. So don't worry ENFPs, your series is coming as well. I've got it all recorded and ready. So those videos are also well on the way. But we're going to start with INFP personnel type seven videos on what I like about INFP personnel type, videos that I hope will help INFPs lives a little bit easier. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for making this video this week. It's so special for me. And you can tell I'm just stumbling because I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Have a nice week everyone and yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs>